Apple Orchard uh, near Quincy here today. Uh, what we've done in this orchard is we've got five areas which are 15 by 15 trees by three rows. In five such areas I released uh, about 500 earwigs uh, over a month and five other areas I released no earwigs. And now I'm comparing how many woolly apple aphids and other aphids uh, are found in these sections. So a lot of studies in other parts of the world are suggesting that earwigs are important predators of aphids, and particularly the woolly apple aphid. So given the uh, immense concern about this pest, the woolly apple aphid here in Washington, uh, this is called a burnout, and it's uh, a popular site for woolly apple aphids to feed. It's where um, sometimes roots are trying to grow out of the tree, and aphids feed successfully on roots. Uh, I'm doing the study to see it at this orchard where in previous years of monitoring I found zero or almost no earwigs. If we introduce earwigs into this orchard, uh, we're going to find fewer woolly aphids. And there's a mid-level infestation of woolly aphids in this orchard. Uh, so we'll see throughout the season if there's fewer aphids in these earwig release areas.